Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and part-time I resell clothes on different platforms such as Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and just a little bit over on Kittison. Now this video is focusing specifically on eBay and my sales in the month of June. I know, I know, I'm a little bit backed up on these videos, but I promise you I am catching up on all these videos to share with you my different sourcing strategies and kind of talk through what is working out for me so far. I also work full time as an assistant principal and today was the very first day of school so I'm so excited to get that out of the way. Shout out to my fellow educators. We are kind of in this together with this refresh of a year with COVID behind us and we're just kind of trekking along. But anyways, you're not here to hear all about that. You are here to hear about my June sales on eBay. I do have my computer here, so if I'm looking up and down, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Just wanna make sure I get all the information out there for you and I'm not misspeaking. So the first thing in June to sell specifically on eBay was an express black pencil skirt and this came from a Thread Up Rescue box that I got a couple of months ago. This sold for $9.10. I did accidentally overcharge on shipping for this. I think I had kind of the automated shipping on it. So I did, I guess, technically earn a little bit off of the shipping as well. So my cost of goods on that, I am estimating to be roughly $2. It is just under $2, but just to make it even keel, I say $2 on that. So I definitely did make money off of it. Again, with the Thread Up Rescue Boxes, I know that I'm not going to make this crazy amount of money, but it's all an experiment. So that was my first sale from a Thread Up Rescue Box. This next sale was a Beach by Ex Exist, I almost said Exit, Beach by Exist denim kind of cover-up tunic for swimwear. This I got from a free inventory that I sourced through the Nextdoor app. I connected with somebody about a year ago, more than a year ago, last July, and I kind of went back to them a couple of times to get some inventory. They were cleaning out their closet. They typically give all their stuff to Goodwill, but they noticed that a lot of resellers were going to Goodwill, so she just said kind of, let's cut to the chase. I'm gonna give you my stuff and do what you want with it. So I definitely jumped on that opportunity. This came from that. This sold for $7, so again, free inventory, $7, still made money off of it, but not this crazy like amount that I know some people get so excited for, but sometimes it's these little sales that add up for sure. Another low dollar sale, but this came from a Thread Up Rescue Box. These Love Tree paperback shorts, like I said, came from Thread Up Rescue Box. These sold for $3. I did also accidentally overcharge for shipping on these two. Sometimes I just let it go for whatever shipping is like recommended. And I think that's what happened here. That's not necessarily something that I recommend doing, but I'm just being honest here. Sometimes I list things and just let it fly for whatever it is it is actually listed for. And as things relist or as I relist, I will go in and adjust the shipping on it. This next thing that sold came from a friend. I was selling clothes for him and we did a 50-50 split. These were Zara white jeans. These sold for $15. Again, the 50-50 split though. So I did make a little bit of money off of it. And of course, made that connection with the friend as well to continue to sell their clothes. This next piece was a Fabletics white long sleeve shirt. At first I thought this was like Amazon quality, but it wasn't, it was Fabletics. This came from a flip flat, one of my very first flip flats. It only sold for $9 and I also had to split that with the client. So really didn't make that much money on it at, at all, but it is what it is, it triggered some more sales. And the sale that it did trigger actually was free inventory, so I made all of the profit from this. This was a new tag loft beach dress. This sold for $26. The buyer did also pay for shipping for it. Again, it was free. It made up for those low dollar sales 
coming in sometimes I guess that free inventory is making out better than some of the inventory that I am actually spending money on so uh definitely that sourcing strategy is working out for me if you don't kind of reach out to people on next door Facebook marketplace different things I highly recommend connecting with people in your community friends family just kind of talk to people about what you do you'd be very surprised of how many people are willing to just hand over their closet that they were going to donate anyways and say have at it make some money this Diane von Furstenberg kind of like lip blouse uh, sold, but it was returned and I'm just, you know, keeping it real here. Got to give you the good and the bad that happens with it. It sold for $33 and it came from a threat of rescue box. So, so to me, that was pretty good. The reason why it ended up in a threat of rescue box was because one of the seams on the back was kind of splitting. So like how you see it right here, it was kind of coming apart and it was silk. So obviously that's kind of a big deal with silk, but I did mention that in the listing with pictures and everything, when the buyer received it, they said it was item not as described, definitely was not item not as described. So it ended up just being a regular return, which was good, eBay kind of had my back in that. But obviously they didn't read the listing because it was very clear and very obvious that there was a hole in the seam or splitting at the seam. Anyways, I got it back and it is relisted. And you know, we'll see how it goes from there. I didn't really lose anything on that because again, eBay had my back so I didn't have to pay for shipping or anything either way. This next piece also came from a Threat of Rescue box. These were PacSun high waist shorts. These only sold for $3, but again, Threat of Rescue box, you get what you get. I, for this box that I got, this one was a couple of months ago, I was list listing literally everything that was in the box. The one that I just recently got last month, I am being a little bit more picky about what I'm listing. Some stuff I did just straight up donate. Some stuff I took to buy, sell, trade and just, you know, took the little bit that they gave me. Some I actually sent to Flip as well. So I've been kind of sourcing from Flip, but then I'm also sending it to people for Flip as well, depending on how much that I think I can get for different things. This next item actually came from one of the flip flats that I did source through them. These were navy blue born sandals. These sold for $15. The buyer did pay for shipping. Of course, after that profit, I did have to pay out the client as well. Next piece also came from a flip flat. This was an anthropology hey hey or he he, I think it's he he short or pants, lounge pants, sold for $24. The buyer also did pay for shipping, but remember with those flip flats, I also have to pay out the client. This leak proof blender bottle came from a Quick Lats Nordstrom general merchandise half palette that I got, I don't know, probably six months ago at this point. Maybe, actually no, I think it was a year ago. It was a year ago because I remember seeing pictures on my memory. You know how it comes up like this happened on this date and it was a couple of days ago that I was had pictures from this palette. So a year ago now, this sold for $5.99. The buyer hardly paid anything for shipping at all. Actually, no, it was free shipping that they paid. I think they just paid a little bit of taxes. So I basically made out even on this one. I, I don't know. It was kind of bulky in my inventory system and it's out of my house and I wasn't using it. So I was okay with it. I definitely made money off of that half pallet so far. I have a couple of pieces left. So sometimes I think it kind of in the big picture, if I've already made my money back and then some, then all every, all these little sales are just kind of icing on the cake. So I'm okay with, you know, letting them go for a little bit, especially if they get out of my inventory system. This definitely took a lot more space than, you know, a little t-shirt would. This ASTR floral romper came from a flip flat. It sold for $25 with free shipping. Now the buyer did end up returning this item and, but it wasn't an item not as, described kind of they just did a regular return which i was very grateful of 
they said that this item was not cared for in the way that it should have been, which I don't know how much, how it was cared for. I, I, I guess I didn't really try to make that determination as I was listing. They said it was dry clean only and it was very obvious that it wasn't dry cleaned when I got it back. I couldn't tell, but it, it is what it is. I did end up putting in the listing when I relisted. I put a very specific phrase that says, item may not have been dry cleaned as intended. So I kind of covered my base with that. It is still listed and to me it's in good shape, but I don't know. I, I maybe am not the, be the best at determining that. These Magalyn shorts came, I think they came from a Thread of Rescue box or maybe they came from Flip. I actually ended up getting these shorts twice. One was from a Thread of Rescue box and one was from a Flip lot. And now I can't remember exactly which one this specific pair of shorts was from, but these sold for $7.25. The buyer also did pay for shipping. Sometimes I don't know if it matters where items come from, if that information is helpful to you, because it really should be how much that you can get for these particular items. So if you saw this item, for $7 at the thrift store, I don't think it would be well worth it to pick it up. But if you sell it for 25 cents at the bins, maybe. So I I don't know. I, I like to share where I get these, these items so that you know my different sourcing strategies, you know what's working for me, what's not working for me. But really, you should be looking at how much you can get per item to see if when you see these items, you can pick it up as well. This next item came from a Thread of Rescue box for sure, I know that. This was a Premise pink and green floral sweater, a short sleeve, I wore this all the time and definitely took updated pictures of the state of the sweater because I didn't want to get caught for, you know, somebody not caring for it like I did the rompers. So this sold for $7. The buyer also did pay for shipping. Remember my cost of goods was just under $2 with those, with that rescue box. This East Fifth blouse also came from the same Thread Up rescue box. This sold for $9. The buyer also did pay for shipping with about a $2 cost of goods. This Castlin black and white gingham print uh, tank top came from a flip lot. This sold for $13.20. The buyer also did pay for shipping. This next piece also came from a flip lot. It was an owl by Wooden Ships, which I think is associated with anthropology. It is. It was a scarf with a owl on it. It sold for $17. The buyer also paid for shipping for it. This $108 Robin Bacone bikini top came from a Quick Lots General Merchandise half palette. No, I lied. It came from a Quick Lots Amazon palette, actually, which my cost of goods on that was about 50 cents. This sold for $10 and the buyer did pay for shipping. I was so happy to get this out of my house because I've had it for literally forever. And with the 50 cent cost of goods, I was okay with it going for just $10. This next piece to sell was a secret invisible solid deodorant. This I actually sourced from Wholesale Ninjas. I, at the time, was watching Lindy Glenn like absolutely crazy and she definitely influenced me to check out Wholesale Ninjas. So I got one of the kind of mixed lots or mixed beauty and um, health and beauty lots from there. Anyways, this sold for $8.53 and it was free shipping to the buyer. This J. Crew Navy Star Print Peplum shirt came from a Thread Up Rescue box. I do want to note that it was an extra, extra small, so I'm guessing that's how it ended up in a rescue box from J. Crew because that's just, you know, a hard size to sell. This sold for $9. The buyer also paid for shipping. These Zara Black Skinny Moto jeans came from a friend, the same friend that I had the Zara White jeans from. These sold for $30. The buyer also paid for shipping. And then, of course, I had the 50-50 split to pay out my friend. 
And that was all my sales in the month of June. Again, you should be watching these videos to kind of keep an eye on different brands, different styles that are selling and what price range they're selling for. Of course, I'm sharing my different sourcing strategies so you can kind of track what's working, what's not working as well. So you can kind of like dual purpose these types of videos. The next video that I'm going to be making is my Mercari sales in the month of June. And then of course I will focus on July. And before you know it, I'm gonna be going over my sales in the month of August as well. So if that sounds interesting to you and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the like button. That allows my videos to show up on your homepage and the homepage of others, and it allows us to continue to learn and grow together.